Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. Of course, uh, the big news today was Apple earnings, which we'll take a look at, and then today, or yeah, this morning, and then of course we had Tesla today. What's interesting here is with just the NASDAQ itself, having a hard time getting some steam going. I was concerned today that here was Apple. Um, Apple was up big today, right? It was up two times the expected move, and, you, and uh, the NASDAQ was up 45 points. You'd expect Apple to carry the market. And instead what happened, and, and Apple held steady to its credit, but the rest of the market tanked. And so there is that, and anytime I see that, and yeah, it could change and we go, you know, we just start going back up again, but you know, gap ups right now are being used for distribution. And you know, people don't forget this either. We've been coming down, we've, we tested it again this morning, it held, but you know, if we get another test of this, it's gonna break. So just keep in mind, this is this market right now is not a, it's not a buy the dip and pray that everything's going to work out right. It's just looking at like, okay, what are the probabilities here that we're going to have a big move from these levels to the upside or to the downside? We're going to go sideways and we want to trade those setups accordingly. All right. So in Tesla today, the expected move was 20 bucks and after hours we we're up $21. So it did, it is moving the expected move. I'm very curious to see where it's going to open up tomorrow. In terms of a stock that I like on the long side, I do like Momo here. So Momo, um, new all-time highs today. It sold off as the market sold off, uh, but it does have earnings coming up. Uh, it's the week after the August monthly expiration, so I am starting to buy calls here with the idea that expire. Um, it's the week after August monthly, right? That series, with the idea of expanding IV plus the potential for a pop up. Now you might ask, well, John, if the market goes lower, what about the stock? Well, it's got a little bit of its unique, um, you know, kind of honey badger tendencies. So it may be able to kick that off, but the you know the main thing with this market is we want to have expo we want to be prepared for anything, right? So I like this is because it's a it's a unique play, earnings, all that kind of stuff, and then from there looking to play both sides of the market. I like the idea of call credit spreads in stock like Google, uh, on the but on the other hand, you know bullish plays on stocks like Momo. So we've got both sides covered and looking at these, the way the markets are setting up here, okay? Uh, and then the biggest red flag in this market continues to be the transport sector. And if you look at this, the transports have rolled over. They're showing no signs of a hard bottom. And as long as transports are under pressure, it's typically a first mover. And we want to keep that in mind as we're setting up trades, okay? Hope it helps. You guys have a good one and we'll see you at the next update.